We're ready to kick things off here. Simple yet mind-blowing. That's the description we received on Dave's Hot Chicken. So to talk about one of the fastest growing restaurant concepts in the nation and Tampa's first. Ian Lieberman is back with us today from Dave's Hot Chicken. You didn't come alone. You brought me a chicken. You're welcome. I, you know what? There we go. I was just, I don't know if our audio friends are happy with that. So I'll set that down while we dive in. You were saying off camera, though, uh, the fastest growing restaurant concept in history. Is that right? It could be. There's uh, there's a ton of these going up all over the country, and uh, we're just really happy to bring the first one to Tampa Bay. I love this. Now, Ian, give people an idea. You have been here before, I want to say. You and I have worked together before. You're the guys behind Fuzzy Taco. Yes, we brought Fuzzy's Taco Shop to Tampa Bay in 2015. Uh, we've got five stores ranging from Lakeland to Lutz down to South County and Riverview. And uh, when it came time for us to expand beyond the taco business, uh, hot chicken is uh, here to stay, and we're bringing it to Tampa Bay in a major way. <laughs> okay, what was it about Dave's Hot Chicken that caught your attention? Uh, I mean, it starts with the food. It's uh, the food. This is the best chicken that's being made in Tampa right now. I mean, bar none. But uh, big statement. I know. I'm ready for it too. Okay. Uh, but we uh, we love the brand. We love the leadership. And some of my colleagues from the uh, Fuzzy's Taco Shop business had gotten in and are running other markets across the country. Uh, so it was very much a, uh, a product decision, an operations decision, and a brand decision. But we uh, we love what we're doing here with Dave's. It's uh, We think it's going to be the next major chicken player in the market. Okay, we're taking a look, of course, at some sandwiches there and everything. Uh, I am prepared. I, I knew you were going to be here on the show today. I took my heartburn medicine. Um, I, let's dive in. Give people an idea of what the menu is like and why you, again, say the best hot chicken in Tampa. No, I said the best chicken. Best chicken, period. I stand corrected <laughs> and rightfully so. Okay, what so do we do? So the menu is really simple. It's a number one, a number two, a number three, or a number four, right? So your number one is going to be two two tenders with a side of fries. Okay. Your number two is going to be two sliders with a side of fries. Okay. And your number three is going to be a tender, a slider, and a side of fries. <laughs> I'm liking this. This is simple. We're taking a look right now, too, uh, at some of the graffiti. You were talking about some of the art, too, that's going to be in some of the locations, because you're already building number two. We are. We, uh, we're working on it right now. Uh, it's going to be on Del Mabry, very close to the studio. I can't tell you exactly where yet, oh, uh, but uh, it's within three minutes. I can tell you that much. Very nice. We lucked out on that one, didn't we? Okay, I want to try a sandwich here. Let's Absolutely. Talk so let's make one. So we'll tell you. So you, this is your Dave's number three. And when I welcome guests for the first time into the restaurant that don't know what they want, yeah. I oftentimes tell them to get a number three so that, and get two different spice levels uh, so they can try a little bit. So the number three, the sliders actually started with a pinch of kale slaw. And everything's made to order. Everything's fresh in the restaurant. Okay. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and layer on three of these Beautiful dill pickles. I love pickles, by the way. So you've already had me at this one. I'm it's the lie. sleeper in the restaurant. I am guilty of eating just pickles frequently. I would do that as well, I think. <laughs> uh, and then what we do is we, we take one of our tenders, and these aren't just a normal one. You think chicken tender, you hear tender from, uh, you know, one of the major chicken restaurants. You think smaller. These are all four ounce tenders. So you're look, you're getting a quarter pound of meat on every sandwich. I, I was going to say, that's like a tenner on steroids, my friend. That's huge. It looks like your hand, right? <laughs> uh, and then we finish it off with a savory Dave sauce. Okay, not to be confused with ketchup there in that bottle, I want to point out as well, because for a while I was like, is he putting ketchup on that? No, I would never. <laughs> okay, good. So that is your Dave's so, sauce. So explain the level, too, that you just put on mine. All right, so that's going to be your Dave's sauce. And what I brought in here to the studio today were our medium sliders, or okay. excuse me, medium tenders. And medium is actually going to have some heat to it. So like all, of our, all of our tenders are wet rubbed and dry rubbed. And a lot of people will ask, well, what makes kind of Nashville hot? Yeah. And it's going to be super moist on the inside and crispy and dry on the outside. So when you think buffalo wings, it's going to be dripping in sauce, right? Right. When you're thinking Nashville hot, you should think dry, spicy, crispy, moist. Okay. I like it. I'm glad we have the difference here. Am I able to chop this one off? I was, I kind of, I don't know if you saw me looking around. I was sitting here looking for napkins or something. And of course I can't find any at the moment, uh, but oh, well, it's TV. I still got to go ahead and bite in. You got to get in there. So this is for you. This is uh, this is your slider. This is your Dave's number three. Okay, here we go. Um, in the meantime, will you do me a, a favor and tell people the cool background story and why there's so much pride for Dave's hot chicken. Absolutely. And you, uh, you were I mean, spot on when you asked, I mean, why this brand? And the backstory and the founder story is really one of the reasons why we chose this wow. brand. It, uh, you've got four friends based out of East Hollywood that uh, mm. set out to fry the best chicken in the world. And uh, Dave, you know, was, came out of Thomas Keller's organization uh, at Bouchon up in Napa, a classically mm. trained chef. And he, paired, he partnered with his brother and a couple of his best friends. Uh, they didn't have much money. I mean, the story goes they had $900 between the four of them. Uh, they bought a used fryer and a picnic table, and they set up a pop-up in a parking lot in East Hollywood. 
Uh, and before too long, Eater LA got a hold of the, the, the fact that there was some really great chicken being fried and wrote an article shortly thereafter that said the best restaurant in LA doesn't have four walls. So uh, the rest is history. Uh, it's really, it's an incredible founder story. Uh, and the, the team that it has attracted as a result of that story and the quality of the food and the quality of the brand that's been built uh, is really second to none in the country, uh, which is why we're so proud to bring it here to Tampa. We felt like wow. this, was, uh, this was a style of cuisine that had been underdone in Tampa for a long time. And I already know, mm. I mean, it's, it's incredible. It it's, really is good. And it's different, like you said, than anything I've ever had. Very, very good. I am so glad we got to try Dave's Hot Chicken on the show. Ian, it is great to see you again. One location, tell everybody where you are. Uh, so we're on Fowler and Bruceby Downs in uh, Fowler Plaza North, right next to the uh, University Mall redevelopment. So uh, we'll be, you can't really miss us. We got graffiti on the outside of the building and graffiti on the inside of the building. It's cool. It's really cool. It's really cool, but the sandwiches are really hot. I absolutely loved it, Ian. Thank you for being <laughs> here. Great to see you again. And we hope that everybody stays right there because we are just getting started on today's show. We'll be right back.